Welcome back to the Junk Man Builds a Plastic Model, Plastic Scale Model here. I don't know, I don't really have a uh, series that uh, I do this stuff with, but I just thought I'd take you along on this video to show you an upcoming project that I want to do that I'm going to make videos on, uh, maybe live stream, I don't know, so get subscribed so you get that notification if I go live while I'm working on this. Um, I'll post regular updates, I think, or maybe I'll just post a uh, complete finished build video, a kind of how it happened video, um, maybe with some updates on the way. I, I don't know. I'm just off the cuff. So if you've watched this far into the video, please stick around and watch uh, the rest of the video so I can tell you what I'm doing here, what I'm replicating and building. Obviously, you can see this kit here in the background it has a clue, maybe, but it's not going to exactly be this. I'm going to talk through it here. So stick with me and let's go through what I plan to do in this uh video with this project. Okay, let's first start off um, with uh, why. Why am I building this? Well, when I build models, I like to replicate memories. Um, I'm not very good at building models uh, that are real conceptual sci-fi kind of things, but I like to think, uh, build things you can see in real life or could have seen or that emulate real life. That's kind of what I like to do here. Other people like to do other things. Uh, when they do these kind of model buildings, but this is what I like to do is, is replicate as best I can uh, Some real life and this is going to replicate a memory of a vehicle that um, That I used to drive uh, well still have actually but don't use anymore um, But I have a very a lot of fond memories. It's uh, uh, a, a truck that um, was used heavily on the farm um, up until its retirement and replacement with something a little bit newer. Um, and we'll go through that, but um, <clears throat> the kit you see here is, is going to be part of the basis of it. Now, this is not the truck. This is not the truck. I'm going to put a picture right up here. Hopefully you see it. Editors, please put it in there. That's me. <laughs> anyway, all right. That's what I'm replicating. And But you're probably wondering, how, I'm, how are we going to get to that uh, with this? All right, we're gonna do it with this. Okay, this is a uh, <clears throat> a uh, custom made or a very low production. I mean, you, you can get one of these if you go to the appropriate website. Links will be in the description of how you can get this if you like this. Um, I, I actually ran across this um, probably a couple of years ago and then I kind of forgot about it, but this this idea has been in my in my head. And this is a uh, a good resin uh, cab of, you know, an F600, F700, about a 64 model. And um, it's a real good, uh, real good, a uh, lot of detail here. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to take care of some flash and all that, but that's to be expected with these uh, very, 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 like, make-to-order low-volume uh, resin kits. So it's really good. Um, so this is what we're going to use. We're going to use this kit. Uh, I'm probably not only going to use uh, the frame, uh, probably the front axle, uh, rear axle, obviously, and the, probably the flatbed or portions of it uh, for the box. And that's about it. Well, I'll probably use the engine, but at this time of this recording and this video, I have not decided if I'm going to cut the hood off. Uh, it's off. The resin is awful thick in here, so I don't know if I'm going to risk damaging this. A lot of my models, like I highly detail the engines and stuff, and you can see some other uh, models, heavily weathered models that I've done and links in below at my website. Um, and if you follow along, I've done some of those builds on here, but um, I haven't decided. So leave a comment below if you think I should attempt that. Um, I'll decide when the time comes on that, <laughs> if I decide to go. Uh, this model also comes um, with a nice, uh, little interior pan and I'll try to put some inserts of some high high res uh, pictures but a very good detailed um, interior um, there's no shifter so I'm gonna have to fabricate one of those but it fits fits nicely up in there and then there's there's a there's enough there's enough meat and whatnot in the resin obviously in the casting so we can get a transmission tunnel in there if there's going to be uh, any issues there I don't anticipate it um, it also comes with um, cast in, I believe, pewter. Um, I'm not going to take the parts out, but uh, we got kind of some running boards. We have the front bumper. Uh, we have the steering column. We have a uh, like a single round style uh, mirror, but uh, we're going to 
do some more uh, big rig truck style mirrors, much like the realistic one. And the little turn signal lights are in there. So you do get a little bit of the accessories. Um, the emblems are molded in, so we'll have to uh, pick those out with some paint. Um, the next thing, and I probably could have, well, you do get um, some little clear plastic uh, and the uh, and the little uh, templates to uh, cut out for the uh, windows, front and back. Uh, probably won't put the side glass in just because uh, this truck was generally driven in harvest time, summertime, so uh, the windows almost always were just down, so uh, we're going to replicate them with them down. Um, Partly for ease of uh, ease of doing it, but also so you can see in the interior that I'm going to detail. Um, and also, this is uh, I did uh, pick up some water slide gauges that should fit for it. Uh, this say they fit a 57 uh, Thunderbird uh, AMT kits, but um, because Ford of that era used very similar gauges, and they're so tiny, and you're barely going to see them in there. These are going to work just fine. I probably could just paint them in and we'd be fine too, but hey, these were only a couple dollars uh, shipped to me, so why not? Made it easier. Um, okay, we got that stuff. Uh, what else? Oh, right. Okay, if you notice in this kit here, uh, the wheels, and I've opened the box, so they are chrome. They come pre-chromed, but uh, rears are not so, so mad. The spoked rear wheels are like what's on the real truck, but the fronts are not spoked. They are a, uh, you know, like a uh, five or an eight hole, uh, bud, uh, steel bud wheel, and um, I found the closest uh, approximation that I can uh, in, a, in a resin. So this is a resin cast wheel, and focus, don't look at me, there we go. <laughs> uh, you can kind of see a uh, very similar wheel, uh, high waist style tread, which is kind of like that, and it even has the split rims. It's very hard to see in there. You'll see in some close-ups if I take them. Uh, so we'll use these for the front wheels. Uh, those will those will tuck tuck right up in there somewhere, right like that. Um, we'll have to build a hub and stuff. Also, they do not come with uh, with lug nuts, uh, so I'm going to have to fabricate those. I got an idea for that, um, and I'll show it in the future update video or in the final video. You'll see exactly how I do all of this. Um, same with. A lot of things. Uh, I'm going to have to, this is obviously a stake bed kit, uh, kit or, and it actually, I kind of bought this one, not because it's Coca-Cola, but partially because it came with the two little Coke machines, which don't have anything to do, but I, I it's like if I'm going to buy a kit, a donor kit, uh, this comes with some bonus uh, things that I might use in a future diorama or uh, something like that, so I'll just keep those around for other uses, so uh, same with the stakes and, and uh, fuel tanks and even that cab. I, I maybe have an idea um, for for that uh, in the in a future video, so or a future project, I should say. Um, as far as uh, as the picture uh, show I uh, showed of what it is, this was a, a red in colored uh, red colored uh, truck, and uh, we just called it the red truck. Um, at the time, because we did have a, a 59 Ford uh, F600, same thing, but 59, and it was blue. So you have the blue truck, and you have the red truck. Um, just uh, different, you know, model years, and obviously different styling and such. So, I already went out, and uh, was easiest to grab grab a few cans. And I have two different kind of reds here, a, a, a dark, dull red, and kind of, it's called mica red. It's maybe has a little bit of metallic in it. Now... Um, I've done some spray outs to see which one I can exactly decide, so we'll see in the future video update what, how, which way I go, do some more spray outs and kind of decide. But the other thing is, and you can't see it in the pictures, but the interior and the whole truck, the whole body and cab and everything, was painted kind of a very 1950s-esque, uh, you know, turquoise type color, and then it was painted red afterwards uh not not my family uh but before we bought it it was we bought it used it was a uh, uh state highway department vehicle and that's the turquoise was whatever was the color that they either chose it in or either bought bought it in and then was painted red after the fact so the interior is going to be this turquoise with some white accents kind of like you'd think um but what we'll have to do on the body is we'll have to uh, uh chip 
some places where the paint's kind of falling off and, and revealing that uh, turquoise underneath, mostly in the wheel wells and maybe some of the panel lines and stuff. That'll be kind of fun, kind of challenging. So you'll want to definitely see how I do that. Uh, so that's what that's about. Um, got some white paint here, flat white, because uh, the wheel front wheels will be white, the spokes will be white. Uh, we'll need some white for the interior here. And of course, I have other paints. Uh, grill will be white. Uh, there is almost no chrome on this except for the emblems uh, because these are work trucks. This was not, well, and this was not a custom cab, uh, which would have had some other trim and bright work uh, that uh, this didn't feature. So um, I've already opened the kit, like I said before, looked at the parts in here, and everything's going to be pretty darn accurate. What it's, you know, it's not going to be a almost exact one-to-one, -one, but it's going to be a very, very, very close approximation, and it's a uh, inspired by. Uh, I'm going to scratch build a box. Uh, currently, it has a steel box. We got rid of the uh, wooden box uh, years ago for obvious reasons. We had to store it inside with the with the metal box. You know, we can now we could store it outside uh, or and not have to keep paint on it, obviously. But when I was driving it, um, and most of my memories are when it had, most of my vivid memories are when it had the wooden box on it and, uh, you know, the panels, you know, rattled going down the road and when it was empty, they kind of bowed in and, and all that. And um, we used to haul cattle in it too. It had stakes that went on top or we could take those panels off and put stakes, uh, this, make it a stake bed just like this truck, but uh, it almost always uh, had the sideboards on. Uh, for hauling grain. So, and uh, there's going to be a ton of little details that we're going to put, not only in the interior, but inside the box. And that's why you're going to want to watch and see some of that stuff because uh, there's a lot of, uh, lot of unique things uh, that, that I'm going to add to add that realism to it. And, uh, and with that realism, I want to call out some of my other builds. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture up here or definitely the links are in the description of a, uh, 1974 Kenworth W900 uh, used on the farm and a uh, T and a later 94 95 ish uh, T600 uh, replicated those. Uh, those are still in use. Well, mostly the T600 um, for various reasons, hauling grain, hauling equipment, and such. Uh, and so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. But this will be one of the more uh, ambitious projects that I've done over the years uh, because. Uh, I am literally kit bashing here, which my kit bashing before was always taking just little pieces and, and little fabrication. This is going to take a lot of fabrication. So I don't have a 3D printer. Um, I'd like to get one, but I don't have one. So I'm going to have to do a lot of this by hand um, using raw materials and things. I can't just sketch something up and, and sketch up or Tinkercad or something and then, you know, go, go 3D print it either with resin or PLA or something. Uh, so this is going to be... A challenge, but I think a fun challenge, and I'd really appreciate it if uh, you guys that stumble along this video, if you've made it this far, definitely be subscribed when you see those notifications. I mean, I know you can't always watch the video when the notification comes in, but try to remember or uh, put it in your watch later and go back and uh, watch it and uh, and watch through and uh, you know give me some tips and pointers. Like I said, I may do this in in installments as I go. I'm, I'm not going to work on it just start to finish. Uh, so maybe you can give me some pointers as we go. I mean, and I will read, I read all my comments and uh, respond to most of them uh, when I can. Uh, and if they're, they're, they're nice and courteous, but I don't censor anyone. Um, but I would keep it clean, you know. <laughs> you know, if you don't like something or you think I'm doing it wrong, I mean, it's like I take criticism yet. If you're just going to bash me for the kid of Wait a minute, kit bash? <laughs> Made a pun, very bad pun there. You you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking. I'm rambling now. So it's about time to end this video. We're we're long overdue on time, and most people haven't made it this far. And if you have, um, how about a little keyword? Let's just put F600. If you wait it clear to the end of this video, put F600 in the comment at the at the end of your comment if you're commenting, or just put F600. I know you watch to the end, so. Uh, check out my website, check out the links. I do have a merch store, help support things like this uh, as far as videos like this. Um, but I do them anyway, uh, irregardless. But uh, I, it's much appreciated. So 
All right, thank you, and thanks for watching.